Hey everyone, welcome to my shop, Arcane Shadows. This is a shop for my YouTube channel, Alchemy with Zero Phase. My name's Eric, and this video will be to demonstrate and introduce you to Zero Gen Prompt Forge. So for those of you who are not aware of what this is, Zero Gen was originally designed as a prompt generator for Stable Diffusion, and has since been developed into a prompt generator for a few different art generation packages really just generating prompts. A lot of these prompts can be used cross-platform, which is great. And the whole system is now designed as a way to fit into a workflow, helping you to engineer your prompts uh, and develop and refine those prompts to work the best with whatever package you're using. Uh, just as an example, we'll do a sci-fi pirate ship. Just to show you an example. So we got a wide angle acrylic painting, futuristic pirate ship soaring through cosmic storms. Let's generate that. So we have a, the ability to generate the image right here in the prompt generator. You can edit the prompts in place, the ones that you generate. Now that's a gorgeous image. Wow. And it uses, for the image generator, it uses stable diffusion on the back end. You get a lot of features. In the Platinum Edition, you have a lot of uh, control features over your the prompts you generate, the number of prompts. You can do up to 10. Here's your generation packages, Midjourney, Dally, and Leonardo for the different style and structures of the prompts. You can analyze an existing image, and it'll generate prompts based on that image. Uh, you have some tools here for incorporating artists and uh, trending websites. You can engineer your prompts right here using direct natural language. Uh, pre and post pop prompt options for controlling uh, different things, adding LORAs for those who are uh, familiar with LORAs. Down here you can save those as well and, and re-import that CSV file because this is a drop down menu. You can add a lot of options and you don't want to have to re-enter them. And then you have your image generation settings and those of you who are familiar with Stable Diffusion um, will know what these are for. So I will have a full tutorial video on this. and. Uh, and on how to use it and uh, when to use it. So, uh, but just know that it gives you a lot of control over uh, the types of images that you're generating. Uh, in the image, you have the ability to control and save your images over here. You can delete them, how, wherever you want to do. And down here, you can, uh, when you generate multiple prompts, you can, uh, let's say we generate four prompts. Let that come out here and it gives you each prompt separately so you can edit each one separately, uh, generate each one, copy the prompt, copy the whole list of prompts or even export the prompts that you've generated. It keeps a history here. You can export those as a text file to use later if you'd like. You can go back and view your images using the view image tab. Artists and options is uh, a resource for being able to peruse and or view artists and artist styles. You can pick colors and it'll incorporate those colors into your images. If you pick uh, different colors here, it intuitively names those colors and then when you generate your images it'll try to incorporate those into the image as kind of like a color theme, uh, which makes it really nice uh, when you're trying to control the overall color theme of the image. So as you can see, we got vivid ruby red along with some deep purples. Beautiful. Down here is a plethora, a vast array of different options and items, words, uh, and various other things that you can use to customize your prompts to allow you to, and this is why I call it a prompt forge. You are able to pick different character types, uh, or environments, shot types, styles, themes. So maybe we want a 3D model. Uh, let's do, um, let's pick something really weird. Uh, biographical, Bauhaus cartoon, 3D cartoon. Uh, and then sci-fi pirate ship. Let's just, yeah, let's just submit that uh, with those same color themes and just kind of see what it gives us here. Wide angle digital illustration, future sci-fi pirate ship. Uh, we got, uh, did it incorporate that? Sometimes, depending on how many options you pick, it will, it doesn't incorporate it right off the bat. You do have the ability to generate as many prompts as you want. There's no limit on it. Yeah, so let's get rid of the colors. Submit that. Yeah, 
has a wide angle 3D. Again, depending on how many options you, you pick here, it may have struggle with that sometimes. But uh, typically it will incorporate, it does its best to incorporate all the options. So kind of a cool look. You can clear that, clear all the drop downs, clear the colors, go back, repick. Uh, when you select an artist's name, it will put it down here. And then when you generate your image, your prompts, it will try to incorporate the artist as a, uh, you know, in the style of a reminiscent of, you know, whatever artist you happen to pick. See what that one looks like. Yeah, a little bit different, a little more uh, controlled painting style, which is nice. It's nice you being able to use artist style sometimes because it really helps structure the images better. So I hope you uh, give this a try. You get a free three-day trial with this. There are so many options here, so many things you can work with uh, to allow you to generate images. If you just want something simple to generate images, you don't want to mess around with installing Stable Diffusion yourself or paying the exorbitant prices of some of these other image generation packages, um, and you just want to generate pretty pictures, images, photography, whatever it is you want to generate, this gives you that tool to do this. Okay. It's a very powerful tool, and uh, I have a lot of people who uh, love it. I have one person who, uh, upon using uh, one of my original prompt generators, said uh, he's he said I lost track of time. I spent nine hours playing with it, just being able to see words I never would have used, and getting my prompt structured structured properly helps immensely. Uh, so again, give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. We'll talk to you later. Bye.